I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. Your crying shoulder. I'll be. I'm in Detroit. I should be singing a little. Uh, who the fuck saying that? Edwin. Um. Edwin McCain, right guy in the Ram. Edwin McCain. What's going on, everybody? How you doing today? So here I am in Detroit, Michigan, one of my favorite cities. One of your favorite cities, is it? Look. Look at that Motor City Casino right there. I saw the Candy Crows though. A while ago. Uh, have I seen anybody else there? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyways, I'm in Detroit. And I was singing Edwin McCain because it was on the 90s station I was listening to. But if I'm in Detroit, you know I'm here for a few reasons. Probably Motown. Maybe a little uh, to crime. But of course, Eminem. Of course I'm going to be doing something about Eminem. So here I am. It's September. I'm going to give you a State of the Union address. What's going on on my channel? Where it's headed? What's going on? But I want to stop right here and show you this first. Well, I'm actually not leaving this area right now. This whole video is going to take place right around here. Look. Look. How beautiful is that? The new Eminem mural that went up. I've been reading about this. I've been wanting to see it. Here it is. Promotion for his Curtain Call 2 Greatest Hits album. <sighs> Look at that. It's incredible. It looks just like it. it looks just like it. So if you don't know, Eminem has a new... You know, I do a lot of promotion for Eminem, and I'm not getting a lot of uh, a lot back from this guy. But it's okay. Um, he has a new Grace Hits album. It's volume two. He had one that came out... Oof, 2003, 2004. When? I don't know. A long time ago. Current Call 1 is one of the most successful hip-hop albums of all time. It's a compilation, but still. Now Current Call 2 is doing really well as well. And it's got some of my favorite Eminem songs on. It's got Not Afraid. It's got Rap God with a remix that I didn't know about, which is awesome. Love the way you lie. River. Uh, 3 a.m. My favorite song. Fall. My other favorite song. Lots of stuff. But yeah, look at how look at how incredibly detailed that is. And it's just right here on Michigan Avenue. This is right into downtown, right there. This is Corktown, like I said. So much is going on. This area is being built up so much. There's the old Michigan train station. Uh, heavy under heavy heavy construction right now They're doing a lot of work on it and this city is having such a resurgence I love it I've been driving around for uh, well only a few hours today but I come to Detroit a lot it's one of my it's my top three cities let's see them Toronto of course I'm a homer I love Toronto Los Angeles Detroit and then I gotta throw in Athens Georgia you know I do love Athens I like Wilmington all right, there's a lot of cities I love. I love New York City. I love Chicago. Shut up! So many cities. But Detroit has a special place in my heart. I can tell you why it does. I, fi- I was figuring out why I love Detroit so much. It's not just because my favorite rapper is from here. So there it is right behind me. There's the Eminem Curtain Call 2 uh, painting. It's not, a, it's not a billboard. That's actually painted right on the wall. So that's going to be here a while. Which is really cool. There was another one that was done a couple of years ago for Eminem and it was defaced. But there's lots of Eminem murals around Detroit. And they're on my channel in various videos. I'll put Eminem, my Eminem playlist below. What, um... What? Shut up. What? Hold on. There's a lot of... Ah! I When I come to Detroit... Eminem loves Detroit so much and promotes it so much and talks about it and you know in every song pretty much mentions Detroit and um, it's funny because younger people here in Detroit refer to Eminem oh yeah yeah I love Eminem he's, he's an OG and I'm like he, Eminem's an OG? really? what does that mean me? like you know like, like not like, <laughs> not like I'm a rapper but I mean like, like I think of an OG that's Ice T for in rap you know rap terms Ice T Ice Cube Easy E, Dr. Dre, you know, Eminem, he's now an OG to a new generation. It's very weird. But I guess he is, you know, he's been around, he's turning 50 this year, in a couple of, like in a month. Anyway, 
So this Michigan train station right beside is the Ambassador Bridge that leads to Canada, my home. And uh, I was figuring out why I, because I loved Detroit before I knew who Eminem was, before Eminem even was Eminem. So when I was little, we'd leave Toronto, and my mother wanted to take, would always, I don't know if she wanted to, she did. She took I-75 to go to Florida, went to Florida every summer. And so that is going from Toronto to Detroit. So you go Michigan, uh, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida. That's how I see my side route. So as soon as we got across the border, it's like, oh my God, we're in a different country. We're in, we're in the United States. So it was always exciting. It was always awesome to be in Detroit. Sometimes we stayed overnight, but mostly we, my mother drove like 12 hours straight and we'd get to Kentucky or somewhere. Uh, but we'd always drive right through here and I was just fascinated. I was fascinated by that train station and I, was, I didn't know what it was at the time. And my mother may have told me. Uh, and I just loved Detroit because it meant that I was in a different country and we were on our way to a family vacation, which are, you know, I hold dear in my heart. And sometimes, this is how I effed up me and my sister were, we would go on the vacation with our parents and my parents would get to like Tennessee and Georgia and they'd be like, why don't you just stay here instead of going to Disney World in the ocean? What kids would say, yeah, we would be like, yeah, we actually did want to stay. We'd be like, yeah, okay. And my mother would say, okay, we'll try again later in the summer or next year. And we'd be like, okay. And so oftentimes we'd stop and we'd actually spend two weeks in Tennessee or two weeks in Georgia and turn around and go back. And that's probably why I love the Deep South as well because I spent a lot of time there as a kid. You know, I spent a lot of time going there on family vacations. Went to Disney World a lot, but oftentimes we'd stop. Detroit's really, really, really uh, on the rebound. A lot of people don't realize that. They, uh, I get comments sometimes that anger me in, in the comment section when I put up in Detroit. And they say, you know, Detroit's a asshole and stuff like that. And those people have not been to Detroit, I'm sure, or have not been in a long time because it's actually really being built up and it's beautiful, it's downtown. I always tell people, you gotta come to Detroit. It's got such a vibe, such an energy. The people are amazing. I think they just gave me the finger. But other than them, it's a really, really, really awesome place. So, what's going on on my channel? What's happening? That's kind of the point of the video because I'm here filming so much, but I want to do a little video just to lead into all the videos that are gonna start coming out the next little while on this trip however what I do is when I go away a lot of people don't realize this I shoot about five three to five videos a day parts of them all ones I film a lot I have so much that you haven't seen that I said to put added and put together stuff from a year ago stuff from two months ago stuff from California Florida New York City all over the place and then I just when I'm home in Toronto I just spent six weeks at home in Toronto which was lovely and great and, and just to chill so I've got a lot of um, stuff that you're going to see coming up from all over the place. But this trip started in Detroit. Then I'm going over to uh, Indiana, Chicago, that way. And then I'm not sure. I've got two options. And you'll see what's coming. Now today was supposed to be a day of filming three videos. Fortunately, I get really bad migraines sometimes. And off a lot of times lately. And today I had a really bad one and it was insufferable and this is the only time i could get out to film because i was just it, it's right here in the back of the head ow and it can get really painful but i forced myself out now it's kind of gone but now that probably didn't help uh so i take some advil but i talked to um this is nothing special but i talked to a doctor my doctor two weeks ago three weeks ago and he said maybe the advil's causing the migraines i said advil causes migraines is it supposed to fight it? He goes, I oh, don't know, it can cause migraine. I'm like, well, there goes that whole, you know, what the fuck is the point of um, Advil then? Anyway, so I stopped taking Advil, but it took a couple of days. It seems to be working. And, um, yeah, my other prescription pill I take for my back, and I take, and then sleeping pills, like over-the-counter ones I try to take because I'm up all night, then I get up early sometimes to work, and that's not a good combination. So I cut out the sleeping ones. You know, it's usually a salad of sleeping pills that I take. Just gobble them up and just swallow them all. And then, no, that's not true. Well, is it? no, I take one pill for my back. That's a prescription pill. That's, nobody cares. And, and then, of course, another pill for my multiple personality disorder. And that pill, you don't have multiple personality disorder. I do have multiple personality disorder. No, you don't. You just say that you do, but you don't really. I do. What's with your hair talking about? There's nothing wrong with my hair. Hey, listen. 
I am here to do a video for the people that are interested in what I'm doing. There's nobody interested in what you're doing. You think you're just talking to no one right now. Listen, listen, you listen. I'm listening. I can't stop listening. So, I don't take any other pills. Just one for the back. I'm eliminating the sleeping pill, blah, blah, blah. So here's where my channel's going. You're gonna see more graves, of course. You're gonna see more true crime, of course. And I love doing those, but I don't wanna be the death guy. I don't wanna just be all about death. So you're gonna see videos coming up, probably once a week of me just walking around places, talking, blah, blah, blah. Click on them right away, that helps me. It gets me to an algorithm. Every video you see, even if you don't have time to watch it, just click on it and watch it later. But click on it, wherever you are. Stop what you're doing. All right, stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to, Humpty. G-Shock, rest in peace. Now, I, I want you to click on them and then come back to them later. So, I'm going to be doing graves, true crime, filming location, everything you see, music, studios, everything you see, but also peppering in me walking around places and just talking, probably more than likely yelling at people or people yelling at me and or me criticizing people for their fashion sense. Yeah, I know. So, that's what you're gonna see coming up on my channel. More of the same, but probably once a week, just me walking around like this. Because this is really exciting. See, my videos always have like a, a goal or a purpose. Like one subject, like I, you know, it's, it's where somebody died, or you know, it's a crime was committed, or this movie was shot here, or this person recorded here, why am I doing that? And I like doing the whole walk around and talk videos, but more nor I end up crabby and yelling at people or telling people to slow down, like you. Well, they weren't going that fast, but when you're standing on a street, everything seems like they're going fast. This truck is probably only going about 30 miles per hour, but to me, I feel like he's going too fast. Don't look at me. Don't make eye contact. If you see me, though, make eye contact and say hello wherever you are, because I love meeting viewers. Okay, so... That's where my channel is going. It's going the same. So in the next little while, you will see occasionally in the next few weeks something from California. You'll be like, is he in California? Something from Florida. Is he in Florida? No. I'm right in the Midwest right now going down. Then who knows where from there. But I'm going to keep uploading every now i got to get through these videos. The Red Fox one I just put up, I filmed that over a year and a half ago. And it's doing great. It's, it's going to hit 100,000 views. And I love that. It means that people like the video. People are watching it. It's in the algorithm on YouTube. It's being suggested. And I love that. But I sat on it for a year and a half, not because I didn't want to put up, because I have so much. So there's lots of stuff like that that's going to be coming that you're going to be like, why would you wait so long to put this up? It's just, I get, it, it all depends on my mood each day, what I want to edit for the next day. I, I, there's no rhyme or reason, really. It's just what I feel like. I, I have all these things listed, and then I film them, some I forget about, and then I just kind of make the video and... Uh, put it up at a certain point. You know. All right. Talk about a word salad. Shut up. You are. All right. Stop. Mm. So I love you all. So I hope you keep watching everything that's coming. Lots of videos coming. I've been doing every two days for a while now. I do a lot of heavy editing on my videos. If you've watched my channel, clips and music and all that. That's still coming. But every now and again, to, to make this trip so I can actually make it through. Uh, and because those those take a long time to edit and to edit and film on the road is very very difficult to, to edit the amount of editing I do like like I said you know like with clips and inserts and all that so every now and again you see a video like this which is just me talking but mostly I'll be like this like most of the time you're gonna see the camera like this I mean like pointing talking pointing talking you won't see my face all the time you'll see my face at the beginning yeah like, okay you don't have to see my face I don't care I'm not saying like if you want to see my face, I'm saying it's not going to be close up by my face talking. I'm going to like, you know, sit down and do fireside chats like I'm Andy fucking Williams. Did he do that? Or was that Bing Crosby? Ba 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 bing I don't know. I know. No, White Castle. Look at that. Look at that skyline. I love it. All right. So I'm headed back to my hotel to edit this video. And then I wake up early tomorrow to film my amazing video. That you, I've got something that I'm filming tomorrow morning that I never in my life thought I would get a chance to film. I hope it's going to be the, probably the next video I put up. And then if things go right, I'm filming five videos tomorrow. Five. And if things go right, I got another really special one that 
you won't see anywhere else. Nobody else is going to get to go to this place. I'm building it up and watch it's going to fall through. We'll see. I think I'm a little too hyper now. I think I'm a little, I think because I was cooped up all day. I think I'm a little too up right now. And that's coffee. It's not, it's not anything else. But people say, are you drunk when you record? Are you high? No, I don't do, uh, I don't do drugs and I don't drink. Believe it or not. I know. Weird. You think me and you think, yeah, that guy's got to be on something. But no. No, just coffee and energy drinks. And I like those little power shots too. Shut up! It's so stupid. I, I gotta stop talking. I love you all. I really do. I appreciate you all watching. Closing in on 150,000 subscribers. I was thinking I might do a Q&A video. Well, I don't know. Should I? Do people care? Like, I mean, I'm being serious. Like, I mean, like, what am I gonna, like, Q&A? I, I, I feel weird sitting down answering questions like, I, you know? I, YouTube personality. I don't consider myself that or a YouTube YouTuber, but I guess technically I am. And if you want to ask me questions, we'll do that. I'll feel, I'll put up something in the community post on YouTube at some point. Ask me a question, you know. And if it's what's my favorite Eminem song at 3 a.m., what's my favorite Friday the 13th movie part two, I get those questions a lot, and I do love answering them. See you on a live chat suit. See you on the next video. I love you all, and I want to give a big shout out and something uh, very very important to me that. I was gonna wait and do, and I'm gonna wait and do it. So, special shout out to some to a viewer of my channel, but we're gonna do that later. All right, peace. Out. Oh yeah, this part.